the feature race for 25 minute group three so we're just looking at the results now of the group four which is a phenomenal finish um chris pengay won by just over a tenth of a second from chris lewis so we're just waiting now for the grid to form up and we are going to go we'll just ask if everyone is ready we won't do that because I'll probably get some rude responses. Alright, here we go. So we've got a rolling start, reverse grid. The uh, the group threes is different from the group four. So group fours they qualify on, on either mediums or super softs and then have to race on the opposite tyre. This one is a free tyre choice um, but you must change compounds. So you must use two different compounds during the race. Uh, so you can do as many stops as you like, but you must change tyres at least once to a different compound. Just wait for the grid to form up. Here we go. So we've got a reverse grid. So we've got Dan on pole. He was last in the uh, group four. So we've got Dan on pole, followed by Alex in second, Jimmy in third, Mike in fourth, Harry fifth, Chris Lewis sixth, and Chris Pengelly in seventh. So. Waiting for the rolling to start to go. And then we've got the long, long charge into the first corner. And here we go, where we go, down the one. And away they go, so full throttle for a long, long time. We're gonna see a lot of slipstream, and I think as we come down to this uh, first corner, it's, uh, it's got all the potential for carnage, I think. Is uh, see if he's gonna break too early or too late. So Dan looks like he's leading, and we got a really late move there for Mike, who's going down the inside, he's got the inside, and we got a bit of rough and tumble coming out the corner, but everyone seems to have gone away with it, yes they have, so Dan's got a nice lead, he's got Mike in second, but he's got Jimmy right behind him in third, and then we've got Chris uh, Pengelly in fourth, as we go for, uh, back up to the front, so Mike's got a decent second, uh, second with uh, Jimmy in third, Chris Pengelly already up to fourth from the back, then we've got battles. We come into the uh, time uh, left hander. Um, oh, a bit of nudging there. So Alex, I think, gave uh, Chris uh, Lewis a bit of a clip. And then you've got Alex Pierce and Harry in the back. So uh, Harry hasn't had a brilliant start. We've got Dan leading up front. And then we've got Mike and uh, Jimmy uh, with Chris Pengelly looking around the outside as we stop for the hairpin. This is the difference. Oh, nice move there from Chris around the outside of Jimmy. And Chris is already up to third from the back. Is Jimmy going to have a look down the inside uh, as we go through this tight technical end, uh, last section? Then you've got Chris uh, Lewis in the wayward Aston doing his best to uh, entertain us with uh, drift points. Uh, but uh, he's hanging on to it, so we go up to second. So Mike in the 911, is he going to get a decent. Uh, we're going to have a big drag race here, okay. So we've got Dan who's three tens ahead of Mike, so we've got a drag race between the first three. So he goes screaming down the straight as much down. We've got Mike right behind him and then Chris Pinkelly right behind him as they go nose to tail down the uh, main straight. Mike's pulled out to go around the outside. Mike's going to the lead and you've got Chris Pinkelly is looking down the uh, he's in between all three of them. And uh, Chris gets, uh, tries to go around the outside. A brilliant move from Chris. Superb move as he went and took a pair of them uh, into the hairpin. So we've got five. So five of them all coming into the left hander together. Is Chris going to make that stick? I think he has. And Mike, and we got Dan now looking uh, with uh, Chris Lewis right behind him. Is Chris going to do the undercut? He has done. He's done with a little bit wide. It looks like Jimmy's gone through as well. So, uh, unfortunately for Dan, he's gone from first down to fifth in some three or four corners. So, Chris has now taken the lead. Chris was uh, quick in the, uh, in the Peugeot, so uh, I'd expect him to. Uh, uh, to pull away, but uh, we'll see. Mike's not far behind him. And then we've got a battle here, so looking like Jimmy's making a move on Dan. So Dan was coming back at Jimmy. These two always seem to be together. Um, so Dan's going to have a try and get him to switch back into the, uh, the right hand, but uh, he thought better of it. Chris Lewis obviously made a mistake there. Um, he's dropped way off the back of uh, Mike, so that Aston's been wayward. So I think we've got, yes, yeah, uh, Chris Pinkett has got a bit of a lead, so uh, we'll stay on this battle for fourth. We'll see who's the quickest down the straights. Chris Lewis has left himself a bit, uh, a bit uh, open now to attack. Uh, Dan, Dan managed to get on the, uh, on the 
black stuff, okay? So, watching Chris uh, battle for third now, and I think he's got the legs of Jimmy, the legs of it. Is Jimmy going to come back here? Let's have a look. Change the camera here. Is Jimmy going to have a punt down the inside? They break for the hairpin. He's going to make some move. Like on last, last minute move and he's got a little bit wise he may stick though chris gets him back again so uh it was good uh good effort uh dan's got a little bit wide but uh, he's still there he's got harry behind him harry's gone past alex but uh harry was uh just to third on the line in the first race so i would expect him to start making some moves he's given uh dan a little hurry up to go for his long right hand he's dunked out of his side he's in the game got past him, he's dangling, he's got to fight back into the uh, hairpin, no. So Alex has fallen off the back a bit, he must have had the spin. So we go to uh, the front, Chris has got a uh, penalty, so he's going to have to bleed that off. But he has got a two and a half second lead, so he's, uh, he's a little bit ahead now. So we look down, Mike, Mike has got Chris Lewis all over the back of him now. Chris is going to make a move down the inside, he's through. But he's not like he's under steering wire, so he's not going to get a back at him, he's going to try. This is a very technical section. Quite easy to switch back on this one, as Mike's going to do. So if he hangs it out wide here, it's a nice uh, late uh, apex into the last corner. And then gets a decent run in, so that's right, it's going cold, Mike. He's going to go on the Aston, so we're actually looking, we're in the toe, but the Aston's pulling away, the Aston's quick. Here comes the toe now, though. Behind us now, Mike's getting the toe. Gap's coming down all the time. Is Mike going to have a go into the uh, hairpin? I think it's Chris going to defend it. No, he doesn't. Mike goes screaming past into, and manages to get that. He's stopped it, but Chris is going to get a run coming out. So Chris gets him on the way back out. So we go back in car with Mike. It's a tricky corner. It's off camber, and he just throws you out wide, which he has done for Mike, but I think he's going to have a go here. The, the, tire, the front left tyre killer this corner. Is he going to have to stick it down the inside? Oh, he's going to go. Oh, I think he might give Chris a little bit of a nudge, but he might get a decent run coming out. Aston's quick though. So now look behind us. I think Mike's a little bit uh, too far behind, but this is a good breaking point. This one is uh, on the Group 4 race, the short track. This one's quite a quick corner, but on the uh, Group 4s, uh, Group 3s, that's quite a good uh, overtaking spot. So Mike right behind us now. Go on board with Mike. He's going to get a switch back, trying to go around the outside. That corner is quite difficult. Yeah, he's just a bit of time now. He's trying to make it neat and tidy into his last section of corners. Chris has gone wide though. Chris has taken a very late apex there. Mike's caught him up a little bit. If he gets a decent exit out of this corner. Chris has gone wide again. He might be with a shout here. He's close. He's probably just as close as he was before. Let's watch this again. Chris and Pengelly has gone, he's disappeared, this is the battle. So Mike going to have a go into this last uh, air bin, here he comes. Going to turn again, he's going to repeat, is he going to come, oh no, he decided against it. I think he uh, he probably, uh, easily done, he probably thought the uh, breaking zone was a bit earlier. This is out wide, that's not where you want to be. That's a nasty call for that one. Go back on Royce and see what else is going on. So we've got Dan and Jimmy, as per usual, having a cracking battle. Dan's defending the inside, but I think Jimmy's got a run on him. Jimmy's on the super soft. Oh, Dan gives him a little, uh, little tap, but uh, keeping it clean. This is a cracking battle between these two. So you've got Jimmy's on the super soft, and so is Dan, but Dan's Aston is he's eating them up quite, uh, quite quickly. So this is a 16 lap race. I think with the tyre where we get at uh, Fuji, this is probably going to be a two-stop. I don't think the tyres will be too, uh, too knackered to uh, be a one-stop, but we'll see. Harry's up front, but he's on softs, so he's decided to start on the softs with the uh, heavy fuel. This tyre's looking pretty good. Mike's is looking a bit uh, a bit more worn, but he's, uh, he's, he's keeping them in decent shape. And then we've got Chris, he's on the super softs, and I think we're going to have another battle here. Here we go. So. Part three. Mike keeps it nice and tight on the inside. He's going to get a good run. Here we go. A bit of a tank slapper coming out again. We're going to go on board again with Mike. Here we go. Let's watch the view for Mike's car this time. 
Bruce is pulling away, but we're starting to reel him in. Doesn't get another go into the uh, hairpin. It's a tricky one to get the right braking point here. Getting closer and closer and closer. We usually break just before the 100. Oh, he's going to have a move. Looks like he's going to get done. Yes, he has. Look at that. Got the Porsche stop beautifully. Is Chris going to have a, another go in the back now? So is he going to try and go around the outside? This is not easy for the fast. Mike's defending the line nicely. Oh, Chris takes a huge chunk of the curve. That might be a penalty, we'll see. This is a great the, uh, three A. He's got a two second penalty. Huge penalty for taking that. Let's uh, go. Uh, they bleed that must go a little bit wide. So Chris might have a decent run up here. That was a uh, draconian penalty, but he did take a big, uh, big chunk of the curb. I'm a surprise. We'll come back out. Is he going to serve that one? He might not. He might decide that was a bit unjust. In theory, they should be bleeding the penalties off, but we'll see. Could be Stuart's inquiry on that one. So, these two are in a cracking battle now. Is he going to stay behind him? Is he going to try and do the uh, opposite to what Mike did? I think he is. He's going to try and get the switch back, so... Uh, Let's see what Mike does. He might get a decent run out of the last corner. Yeah, here comes Chris. Oh, he's been a good boy. He's getting his penalty down. Good luck, Chris. No, he's not that far in front of Harry, actually. Look at this. So, let's have a look. Let's uh, take that battle for a little while, but uh, it's quite tight. And, oh, so Chris, Chris Lewis is in the pits. Early stop. Get rid of those super stops. Putting fuel in, uh, yeah, he's putting a bit. But Chris has decided to pull the trigger. Away he goes. Little top up, and that's probably where are we? Nine laps. Yeah, that's probably uh, he's come right behind Alex Pierce. Oh, almost loose as he comes out. He will need to dispatch. Uh, sorry, come out right behind uh, Dan Charters. He will need to dispatch that. Uh, Aston pretty quick. About the two teammates. That's a bit of a school going on. Is he going to go around the outside? Oh, is Dan going through the teammates in his car? And Chris is on the faster tyres, he's going around the outside. What a great move that was. Around the outside of the long right hand. Does he get it stopped? I think he will. Yeah, so Dan's tyres are starting to really feel their age, whereas Chris is on brand new super uh, soft. So let's have a look up front. Chris Bengali got a 10 second lead now. 37 3 is his quickest lap. So he's he's over two seconds of that quicker than Mike, who's in second. Got a bit of a gap now. Then we've got Blake, uh, Harry, who's uh, made it up to third, so he had a bit of a, bit of a steady uh, first lap. But Chris uh, Bengali's in now. Probably shouldn't be too worried about the undercut, but uh, his tires were pretty good as well, actually. So does here. I would imagine this. To, uh, he might be doing a one stop here. I think he probably is. Yes, Chris is doing a one stop. So he, Mike's taking the lead. So Chris has come out in second. So we're going to have a new leader. And Chris has come out just in front of Harry. So uh, Harry's tyres are looking extremely good. So they're looking very, very good. So this is interesting. Um, that BMW is really good on his tyres and it's pretty good on fuel as well. So we've got the first three there, all within a uh, shot of each other. So the, uh, Chris has pitted. Looks like he's probably going to do a one stop. I imagine they're all going to do one stop. Well, I'm a bit surprised now. I thought they'd be doing two stops with the tyre wear. Um, and then we've got Chris, uh, Chris Lewis. 11 seconds off the lead, he's stopped. So he's probably. Yeah, he's probably in a net second, maybe. When this uh, when Mike and uh, Harry uh, stop. Let's see what Mike does here. So Chris is catching him pretty quickly, and uh, Mike's uh, tyres start to go up a bit here, so uh, he's starting to uh, make a few little mistakes. Is he going to stop on this lap? Or is Chris going to. Uh, 
Well, it looks like Mike isn't going to stop, no. So this is the battle for the lead here. So Porsche versus Peugeot, let's see. Chris is net leading. Um, yeah, but you want to get rid of Mike as soon as he can. So Chris has gone down the inside of that Porsche. is quick down the straight. So Chris isn't going to make, uh, Mike's not making this easy. Is Chris going to break him though? Here we go. Mike's covering the inside. Chris uh, breaks late, but he's got fresh tyres. Anything Mike can do is maybe do the under, uh, under cut, but uh, he's soft looking pretty uh, pretty warm. So Harry's in as well now. So Harry's uh, put the super softs on. So he's fueled up and now I've got the super softs. Now Mike's now in second. And Chris Lewis is actually, um, he's actually, I think he's gained a little bit here on uh, Chris Benkelly. So he's only 11 seconds off the lead now, which I think is probably going to be enough to take second. Jimmy's in third, and Harry's come out in fourth, uh, fifth, sorry, Jimmy's in fourth, Harry's come out in fifth, just behind his teammate for the BMW driver, Jimmy Coleman. Then you've got Alex and Dan having a battle here, so neither of them have pitted yet. Uh, Dan's obviously pitted. So um, Alex is on softs, which is looking pretty knackered. Dan's, uh, yeah, Dan's been just been in, so he, uh, he came in on lap seven. So let's see how he plays out the front. Nine laps, uh, well, nine laps, uh, ninth lap. Mike is, yeah, he's starting to really struggle on those soft now. I think what he's hoping he's going to do a really rapid uh, short stint on the uh, on the super soft with low fuel. Mike is currently in third in the championship. Just uh, he overtook uh, Harry in the last race. Uh, so if we run down the, uh, he comes Mike now about second place. So it'd be interesting where he comes out. Let's just uh, see what he does. He's more in the pit lane. He's going to put in seven laps of fuel with the super softs. That means the tyre wear should be better with the super softs, low fuel. So I'd expect him to, uh, to be pretty racy. Particularly against Chris, who stopped Chris Lewis really early. So he comes out in third. Where's Harry? Harry's a little bit behind. So Harry's got tyres are warmed up. But he's three seconds behind Mike. So, as I thought, Chris Lewis has jumped Mike by quite a long way. Um, they were they were scrapping, and uh, Chris had a penalty which he served, which dropped him one and a half seconds. But that early stop, but I think he's too stopping. I think Chris Lewis might be too stopping. He's got a third of a tank of fuel left, and we've still got another six laps to run. So this is going to be tight, whether he can make that last or not. So Mike is obviously, he, yeah, you look at the difference in fuel. Mike's got two thirds of a tank, and Chris has got a third. And we compare that against um, Harry, who's uh, still jumping around a bit. His connection's not the greatest. So he's driving sideways. So he's got just over half a tank. Uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy has. Jimmy has, Jimmy has stopped, but he was obviously too stopping. He's on soft, but he hasn't got much fuel left. So, uh, Alex and uh, so Alex hasn't stopped yet. Dan's right behind him. Alex must be coming in soon. His softs are looking pretty nasty. So he's going to do a really short stint on super softs, I would imagine. He's got a bit wide. Dan's gone through. Yeah, Dan's nipped through. So uh, Alex should be coming in. You would hope now. Up. So Chris Bengali is a nice, easy 13 seconds in front now. So he's gained a second and a half, 37.6 on that lap. Uh, Chris is uh, doing 38. So yeah, Chris Bengali has got a good second in hand here. Uh, Mikey is now only 10 seconds behind. Time he's quick though. I mean, that was uh, so his outlap was a 37.5. That's a quick outlap. Um, be interesting if Mike catch uh, Chris Lewis. Keep an eye on that gap. It's about 10 seconds away. So Mike's on a personal best, so he's getting some pace out of that Porsche. And then you've got Harry who's not far behind him, so I think this is probably the race now to the end. Alex still hasn't come in. It's remarkable. Stop. He hasn't stopped, so he must be 
run his fuel down to the direct so then do the really short uh, stint on the uh, super soft. So Chris, let's look at his tyres. Tyres looking good. I think that's uh, one stop for him. Chris, yeah, Chris Lewis. He's going to have to do a splash and dash. Five laps to go. So uh, yeah, just around a third of the race to go yet. Yeah. He's got a quarter of a tank. Mike's on 39. Let's see exactly how many pits. So uh, we've got Jimmy. So yeah, we thought Jimmy was doing a uh, two stop and he's. This is going to be okay, a really short stop. Five laps to go. I'll go the. Probably the six stops, I would imagine. Alex is in as well, finally. <laughs> So he, he, first, the last of the stoppers has done 11 laps in that car. Hopefully, it's going to be a short fuel stop. Set of super staffs, and away he goes. So, Jimmy has come out in sixth, and Dan is now in fifth. Jimmy in sixth. Not too much between them. Harry is closing in on Mike. So, Mike's on a quick lap here. He's on his fastest by nearly half a second. Being caught by uh, Harry, which is difficult to say because his, his uh, connection's cutting in and out, so we're not sure the true gap. But so Harry did a 39.4 on his last lap, and Mike did a 39.9. Ah, unfortunately, we've lost Harry. I think his internet connection was that's a shame. I think his internet connection was, was bad enough that he's dropped out. What a shame, we've lost Harry. Taking the pressure off Mike, but I think Mike is up for this. Oh, Chris in the pits, there we go. So, we thought he was doing a two stop, and he is, so this is going to be interesting. Mike is going in the second. Here comes Mike, you know, here comes Mike. Let's watch it, he's, he's past him. So, oh, look at this, he's got about into the hairpin. So, Mike is on slightly older tyres. Now, unfortunately, uh, Harry not going to be able to join that one. Um, so, Mike, right in front of Chris. So, Mike's tyres are pretty good. And Harry and Chris is obviously brand new, so these two are going to have a scrap to the end now. And Chris Pengel is miles in front, 25 seconds. Easy win. But here's the scrap now for second. Might hold off. I mean, his tyres are slightly more worn. I mean, he came in on lap, end of lap nine. Chris is obviously brand new, but he's got a similar fuel. Chris has actually got slightly less. So, you imagine it's advantage to Chris, but this is going to be so tight. So, the battle we started off with, that Chris uh, dropped off a bit because of his penalty. He might have got a little bit wide. Oh, he might have gone too wide. Chris has nipped up the inside. Is that Mike, Mike going to get a uh, benefit out of this, though, if he's, if he's clever? And Chris has lost it coming out of the First corner, last corner. But Aston is wayward. Mike goes into a, a quite clear second, so. Topsy Turvy, let's uh, do a rewind on that one. Let's go back that far. Let's have a look. Oh, no, we're not seeing it. Let's try not to uh, try and look at uh, Chris uh, dancing and the Aston as per usual. Uh, can he get this back there? I think he can. I think he's got the pace. He's done a 38.3, he's his fastest. Mike's a 39.5, so yeah, he's, he should have a second in hand. Whilst uh, Chris Pangeli romping away up front, 37.2 is his fastest. He's 26 seconds up with uh, just over two laps to go. He's Papa John's liveried uh, Peugeot, RCZ. So, let's watch these two. Down to 1.4 now. Chris is coming back at him. So, we've got a battle here for fourth as well. Dan and Jimmy going at it. And that's really close between these two. Dan's tyres are looking quite messy compared to... Uh, so, Dan's doing a really good job of hanging on to Jimmy because Jimmy's got super softs, which are way, way better for wear than Dan's. 
Big cut, Jimmy. Let's see if he gets a penalty for that. It's to be done. It doesn't, but he seems to go away with it. Right, here we go. So, we cut back right at the right time. We've got uh, Chris is uh, having a go at Mike. We come down into the first corner. Is Mike going to break late? And double crack around the outside. No. Is he going to try and do the undercut? Or come back up the hill? I think Chris has probably got this if he keeps it clean, but Mike's going to have a go back as they come around the, uh, the outside as they go through this very quick left hand. This is a hard place to pass. Very easy to overcook it to one coming out. He's got a uh, slightly worn super soft, so I imagine, imagine Chris Lewis has got a bit of inherent uh, pace advantage here, but uh, Mike did his fastest in the last lap of 39.4, but then Chris did a 37.5, so it's only two tenths, so two tenths of the fastest lap. Probably had a big toe there, but it shows uh, Chris has got some pace. He's trying to crack in battle. Let's see if Mike can have a go back at uh, Chris. Chris isn't pulling away. If Mike can stay within three quarters of a second, he might have a chance here to have another go back on the uh, main straight. Chris has got a bit of a pace advantage, but let's just see what happens. Mike is definitely quick around this section of the track. If Chris gets a decent, uh, decent run out of the last corner, I think he's probably clear. It's very easy to get it wrong coming out there. He's trying to break the toe. Interesting strategy. I think he's got a bit of a too big an advantage to worry about it, but. Uh, he does 38-1, so he's got some pace as he goes into the last lap. Let's see what else we can see. So, so Jimmy is shaking off Dan. Dan's going around in fifth with the retirement of Harry. And sixth is Alex. So, last lap, dominant victory by uh, Chris Pengelly. Took victory in just about in the group one fours. This one's been a fair bit more straightforward. Took the lead, I think, on lap two, and has been pretty much in control the whole time. Fastest lap of 37.3, 26 seconds, nice and easy. So, still haven't finished for second, but I think Chris Lewis has got this as long as he stays pretty consistent, doesn't make any massive mistakes. And he's on his fastest lap, he's only two and a bit seconds of the mic. So, as we go back to Chris, coming out last corner now. Dominant victory. Yet another uh, Group 3 victory. I think he's won them all now. Um, so well done, Chris. Fantastic drive. Comes across the line to win the Round 4 feature race. Got a second, so a, a cracking race between these two. They were battling all the way along. Two different strategies. Um, it looks like Chris Lewis is going to get another second place to cement his second in, in the championship. Comes across the line, cracking race between these two. Hold on, Chris for finishing second. There he goes. There, uh, Mike. Really good podium for Mike. Back and forth with the 911. And here comes Jimmy in fourth now. He beats and Harry. A good tight race between them. So a good fourth place for him. That help is uh, help him close up on Alex. In fact. Yeah, he will certainly close up a lot on Alex. Uh, Jimmy had a change of car after round one, so uh, he had a minus 20 points loss, but uh, he closed back up on, uh, on Alex, who was in fifth place. So a good fourth place there for Jimmy. And we've got a battle here between Dan and Alex. Looks like Dan has, made, uh, has dropped off a bit, and he's not far in front of Alex. So Dan comes across to finish fifth, and then we've got Alex to finish sixth. So a cracking race. What a good race that was for the Group 3s. Shame that Harry uh, retired, but uh, fantastic win there for Chris Bengali. It's another Group 3. We need some half of Group 3s. So I think he's won them all now. So uh, consolidates his uh, position in the top of the Championship. So let's just go to the results. So we've got 
Chris, uh, Chris Pengay, great win. And then we've got Chris Lewis and Mike Ross having a great battle. Chris Lewis finish, finishing second in the end. Mike uh, not far behind him, uh, less than only three and a half seconds. Good podium there for Mike. And then Jimmy finishing fourth. That will help his uh, his uh, point standing. And then Dan in fifth and Alex in sixth. And fastest lap was uh, Chris Pengelly uh, on lap three. So a great race. Enjoyed that. Two really good races to, um, this evening. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And we will see you probably after Christmas now for the first of the endurance races, which is uh, one 45 minute race, which we'll be doing in the uh, group twos. So um, we switch classes um, for this one. And we'll be racing the group twos at um, St. Croix A, which is a cracking track. So uh, look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much. <laughs>